Why, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to a Who review from me. I am Davros, and I am a Whovian, and today I review Doctor Who Last Christmas. So, I thought now that I'm reviewing Christmassy special, I thought it's time I wore my Santa hat. And I have done. Um, for this review. So, this is the 2014 Christmas special. Uh, where the Doctor and Clara find themselves in the company of Santa Claus, played by Nick Frost. And um, when they go on an expedition to the North Pole... Um, they discover that there's something going on at a research facility where people have these weird face creatures on their faces and they must find a way to remove them as they are constantly draining their brains whilst they dream. So, let's get to my likes and dislikes about this episode. First of all, the likes. I like Nick Frost in this. I thought he is the perfect guest star for a Christmas special, because first of all, his name's Nick, and he plays Santa Claus, Saint Nicholas, and his name is Frost, Nicholas, Nick Frost, you know, Nicholas Frost, How, what, what else could be more Christmassy than that? So yeah, Nick Frost, and um, he was Santa in this, and he just, you know, was, well, he was just cool in it. He was calm and he was jolly and happy. I know he's had a Satsuma. Um, I also like the two elves. One was played by the Scouse Kid from Misfits, and the other one, I can't remember the actor's name, but I do know is Strax in the, uh, you know, Strax the Centaurin, you know, the Paternoster Gang. He's Strax the Centaurin in it. Um, I also liked, uh, you know, that we had uh, a cameo from Rudolph and many other toys in this uh, Christmas episode um, and that um, I also like the monster in this which was like a crab monster a crab a face crab monster uh, that eats away at your dreams and then it turns out I'm sure I'm not giving anything away now because this is like four years old this Christmas episode um, yeah where we see where it turns out they're all in a dream state with these crab face monsters and at one point one of them mentions that um, that it's like the film Alien with the face huggers and the doctor's like there's a film called Alien no wonder we all come and invade you all and that I like that bit there was a very very you know good comedy in there this also had Patrick Troughton's son in it one of his sons now we had David Troughton that was in uh, the Tenth Doctor episode Midnight we had another one of his sons. I can't remember his name right now, but um, yeah, he was in this episode, tucking into a turkey. Um, I also like how we got Slade in this. You know, Merry Christmas, everybody. Now this is a Christmassy song that has always briefly appeared in Christmas specials from the Christmas Invasion. We got it in the Runaway Bride. You know, just listen out for it. They seem to always play that one every year in a Christmas episode. I also liked, um, you know, we, that, um, yeah. Yeah, I thought, okay, yeah, that was good. Um, but now, also, I liked about Santa Claus that he, well, wasn't really Santa in this. Um, yeah, I like that. Santa and it wasn't really Santa Claus uh, because I thought it was kind of already far-fetched already having like Santa in a Christmas special I mean yeah Santa is a big part of Christmas you know he's a big Christmas icon why not have him in Chris in a Christmas Doctor Who episode but yeah it turns out that Santa was the Doctor's deep well everybody's deep inner subconscious that was helping them fight this mind crab uh, and that um, not much were explained about these mind crabs you know do we need to know about them or something I don't know 
But then it turns out everyone who was in the dreams and that weren't who they appeared to be. They were the person that they wanted to always be, but they weren't. The per you know, it was... It's a bit hard to explain, but it's a good episode. I do recommend it. Um, I also like that we got to see Danny Pink one last time. I mean, yeah, he, I think he had a good set, an emotional send-off in, um, in the Series 8 finale, Death in Heaven. But I felt like, you know, we got like a, a proper goodbye from the character in Clara's Dream Within a Dream. Um, yeah, was his cameo and that necessary? Uh, yeah, I guess it was okay, but um, did it need to be in there? Uh, probably not. Anyway, it was just a good part, you know, you know, to just see him one last time and that. Even though he wasn't really my... What, in fact, was he ever an, a Twelfth Doctor companion, do we know? I mean, yeah, he knew of the Doctor and Clara, but I don't ever recall him travelling with the Doctor or Clara ever. Uh, okay, so, other things. Um, yeah, so, I like that... Yeah. But I did like the ending though, when the TARDIS faded away and there was a Satsuma sat on the wall. Yeah. So thinking, hmm, was Santa really in their subconscious then? We don't know, and we probably never will do. Um, right, so, um, my dislikes. Yeah, I just didn't like how complicated these crab alien monsters were with the dreams and that. Um, and stuff, but... You know, this truly felt like a Christmas episode. Of all the Christmas specials that we've had in the past, I have to say, this really stands out as the Christmassy one. I mean, we've had a Christmas Carol. Uh, that was very, that was quite Christmassy, very Christmassy. But this had to be the Christmassiest one ever that I can recall. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed the episode. And I like the message that it had with it as well. That, you know, last Christmas, every Christmas is last Christmas. And that's why we all get together with the family and that. I like that message because it is kind of true. You know, last Christmas, every Christmas is last Christmas. I like that message, you know, because it kind of got to me. Because a year before my grandfather had passed away and that was kind of like last Christmas, you know, with him. And that, you know, but um, yeah, I like that message. Uh, there was another scene where Clara was, appeared as an old woman, but that was just a, within a deep dream of the Doctor's subconscious. They were meant to like write Clara out in this episode, but they got her to stay for another series, which I thought was okay, I guess. Uh, but yeah, Clara, she'd only done one full series from Series 8. Anyway, yeah, this Christmas special, do I recommend it? Absolutely, if you love the Twelfth Doctor and Nick Frost and all that, uh, and Christmas, so... Yeah, I thought this was a nicely done episode. So with all that being said, I think I'm going to give Last Christmas... I'm going to give it a three and a half out of five. Because I really like this one. Three and a half out of five for Last Christmas. So that has been my Who review on Last Christmas. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And hit that notification bell. All of my social media links are down below in the description. I have been Davros the Whovian. So, like I said, be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can stay notified every time a new video is uploaded. So until next time, run for your life. Nope, one setting. Ah, there we go.